Hi, I'm Phyllis from ISO, and welcome back to my channel. And today, I'm going to show you my 11th block for my sampler quilt. And it's a very easy one to put together. When you break it down, you look at it and you think, oh, that looks like as if it's difficult. But you break it down into small parts, and there really isn't much to it. I have a square. Well, before I start, I'm going to ask you to subscribe, touch the bell to be notified, and give me a thumbs up if you find anything worthwhile on my, and please subscribe. Uh, with that said, this block is made up of a four and a half inch square within a square within a square and then a border around it so it's to start with you cut a four and a half inch square for the center i just fussy cut it out of the print and that was kind of Nice, this is just a plain one. And this one's only a four inch, so it's not quite big enough, but that, it fits in better when I'm trying to uh, show, uh, put it together <laughs> in pieces. This is a flying geese unit, and it's four and a half by two and a half. And I make, these little, these pieces, uh, three inches, the squares, when I go to make them. Just so I have a little extra up here. So when I trim it down, I have a quarter of an inch up here. So I don't cut off the point. So then I take, I put, some light colored squares on the end and then this one unit is uh, eight and a half with two and a half inch squares to snowball it at the end and you draw a line and so a line just off to the side, <laughs> just barely off to the side. And then you fold it back and make sure it's going to cover it all, which it is. And then when you've got your narrow edges here, I'll, I'll cut this off. Then this goes together like that. And another square in each corner. And that makes, and then you, with this piece, you got one there and one here. So you need four of these units and four of the flying geese units. And some two and a half square inch squares in each corner and then another two and a half inch square on this one <clears throat> and that's all that's to it when you break it down in sections there's not much to it and once you once you learn how to make your flying geese and i showed you in one of my earlier videos how to make the flying geese uh, and the half square triangles and things like that. So I'm not showing you those things now. If you want to, if you want me to show you again, I can, I can do that. But I don't like repeating myself too often <laughs> unless it's necessary. So to take it apart, 
This is the way it goes together. And I put the I put this row together like this. And I put this patch together all together at the center. And so this is my number 11 block. And uh, I'll have to uh, get my 11, uh, number 12 figured out, which one I'm going to make for that. So thanks for watching. And, well, just before I go, I'm going to show you these other videos, these other, this is number 10 block. Number nine. Number eight. And number seven. And I'll the next time I'll get you I'll show you the the one from one until six. And I when I put it together I won't put these two in the same area. So that's my quote blocks. It should be an interesting quilt when I when I get it all together. And thanks for watching. Bye now.